वेलकम टू आयल्स लिंजा ओके सो अ वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन एंड टूडेज डिस्कशन वॉट वी आर हैविंग इज रिलेटेड टू एस ए राइटिंग बट नॉट अ फुल फ्लेज एस ए राइटिंग इट हैज द कनेक्शन विथ हाउ टू इम्प्रूव योर रीडेबिलिटी ओके हाउ टू इम्प्रूव योर रीडेबिलिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ एस ए राइटिंग नाउ आई वॉन्ट द पार्टिसिपेंट्स टू पुट अम you know what do you understand by readability i want you to put it on the chat box what do you understand by readability i give you all a minute so please put it on the chat box ravi says it is uh, understandable by the examiner in one go sham says how well it is understood shridhar says easy to understand uh there is a code i am not getting the name i'm sorry understanding the content sendal says the sentence formation and tarun says anything that can be consumed okay okay so well anyway we will have it going on in the discussion and uh, i won't give the review of uh, whose chat is exactly i mean almost correct or whose is little they need to understand it better you can get it from the further slides well so what are we going to discuss in today's session is first and foremost i will be providing you certain sample samples giving you all a minute to read what you have to do is that you have to read and just put on the chat box again whether it was understandable by you second we will move on to the core topic what is readability and thirdly we will see how to improvise this readability in essay and i have something add on here the magical numbers and finally we will have the final discussion followed by the feedback round okay so here we start there are some three passages sample uh, paragraphs i would say not passages for you all to read what i want you to as i said i'll give a minute please go through all these things and then on in the chat box please send your message whether it was understandable or easy to understand is my question i hope it's clear for all, all now anirban none of them are related they are uh, separate separate paragraphs okay so the content uh, the uh, uh, here the thing is that whether if you read those paragraphs are they understandable no problem if they are not related great so i am getting the negative answers here and that is what is the paragraph all about okay so uh, as you were read now you all were the readers here fine you all were the readers so imagine the same situation happens with the ielts examiners also when they read our essay so it should be as smooth as possible that is what is today we are going to learn about how to make our writing task in a readable manner it could apply to task 1 also task 2 also fine okay so now i'm taking to a little bit corrected version of these same three paragraphs uh in the meantime i'll just say what's the problem with the first second and third the first paragraph has many sentences okay and when you read uh, one or multiple times you may understand what is the scenario it has too many short sentences second paragraph is too wordy a single sentence but so many words third paragraph understanding the gist of that uh, paragraph is something challenging i mean what is that paragraph all about what they want to communicate what they want to say these are the challenges we are facing in these three paragraphs so we will revisit them with their corrected version so again they are connected with those three paragraphs you had read so now we have the uh, different way of presenting them
So shall I move now to the next slide? You have uh, at least uh, had a small mental comparison done between what you read first and what you read now. Okay, so moving further. So let's come to the core discussion of the day. So the discussion is now we will have to say what is this readability? Yeah. So what is what what do you mean by readability? So I had asked this question in the initial uh, phase. So now let's see what is readability. Readability means how well a person understands another person's writing. Basically, what will happen when I write? I can understand my reading. I may argue on that, but here it is how it is understood by any other person. So the who all gave that how it is understood by any other person by the examiner by others or easy to understand, yes, you all are right. That is called readability. So what is readability? It's a quality of your writing. If the readability of your text is high, people will be able to understand your sentences easily. Else, it is likely to be a draining experience. And by now, you all have experienced that. In the previous, the first uh, examples I had given you. So what would happen here? Instead of focusing on the substance of your writing, they will need to spend a significant amount of time, of amount of energy unpacking overly complex vocabulary and sentence structure. So this is something quite commonly observed in people uh, when they're writing for IELTS, they think that I should have a complex uh, kind of writing or a very, very long sentence. If I would uh, recollect that, uh, you know, the Example number two, it was one single sentence with so many adjectives. And it takes time to understand what was the sen what was it all about. So you invest a lot of energy in understanding the matter instead of focusing on what the reader wanted to say. So I may misinterpret also. So that is what happens when your writing is not in a readable manner. Okay, so now moving. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to like, comment and share the video. Subscribe to IELTS Ninja and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Don't forget to register for our free live classes. Find the link in the description box. This is your chance to prepare yourself with personal trainers.